Hello and welcome to another Owl Crate unboxing. This is the April Dystopia Owl Crate box. I'm really excited. I don't know what can be in here. It, it moves just like a little bit. So let's get started. Look at this cool, very cool postcard. This looks great. I'm really excited. Um, I'm not going to look at the back of the card because spoiler alerts are on the back. And I want to know what's inside without looking at it. I want to find it out on my own. And I know that this box is for Hunger Games fans. I have my Hunger Games books right here. Um, I also have the Divergent series. Um, so I'm very excited to see what's inside. As always, lots of good, fun stuff. This is fabulous. This is a little coaster, it looks like. It says, I spent my life folded between the pages of books. Very cute. Totally going to use this all of the time. Oh, this is so cute. This is a little notebook with the cover of a classic book on top. I got George Orwell's 1984. Which I actually own and love quite a lot, so I'm really, really, really excited for this. I don't know what I'm going to put in here, but maybe with my tools from the writer's block box, I could come up with some ideas. Next is a bracelet from the Geeky Cauldron. Geeky Cauldron with a discount code on the back of her business card and it comes with a bracelet from the Hunger Games and I'm so 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 excited because I've been looking for a bracelet like this for such a long time and it's actually in colors that I like black and blue and brown yeah and it comes in this nice little bag that I can use for something else Okay, this is just so much stuff. What is this? Is this a magnet? It is a magnet of Katniss! And this is from Half-Blood Prince. Fandom artwork. How cool. So cool. I'm gonna have to hang this up on my fridge to annoy him. What is this? A vinyl application. Ooh, property of Wicked, W-C-K-D. I don't know what that means, but also with a discount code. How cool. This also has a discount code. This is great. I would have to do some online shopping. This is a print. It's from the Star Touched Queen. The stars, filled with cold light and secrets, held no emotion in their fixed language of fate. Emotion belonged to life, a thing the stars could never experience. I, not the starlight, shaped my decisions. How pretty is that? And then there's information about the book on the back. How pretty. I'm going to have to look into that. There are so, so many goodies in this box. I, I don't even know what to do. I'm so excited. Okay, so the Wicked decal is um, from the Maze Runner series. It's based off the Maze Runner series. This is a Mockingjay bracelet from the Geeky Cauldron. 
This notebook is from Manuscript, which features artwork from the UK first edition of 1984. Love it! And then, oh, it says that um, they partnered up with Half Blood Prints to create two different styles of magnets inspired by the Hunger Games. So I received Katniss. I'm excited to see what everybody else received. And then Evie Bookish designed this coaster, which was inspired by the Shatter Me. I haven't read Shatter Me or the Maze Runner series yet. I did watch the Maze Runner movie, so I'm kind of a cheer. But I love this so much. I'm probably going to start using it in all of my photography. <laughs> It's a book! It's a book. It's wrapped. <gasps> Flawed by Cecilia Ahern. Have I heard of this? I've heard of Cecilia Ahern. I believe I have some of her books. Yeah! Oh, excuse me while I destroy my bookshelf. I have. There's No Place Like Here, and Cecilia Ahern also wrote P.S. I Love You. See? I know some things, so let's open this and see what it's about. Sorry, crinkling, I'm opening it. So as always, there is a letter included from the author. So Cecilia says that Flawed is her 13th novel, but it is her first YA novel. And she says, I feel like I'm starting all over again and finding a new audience for the first time. So it's lovely to meet you. Flawed tells the story of Celine, Celine, Celine North, a 17 year old girl who lives in a country where society does not tolerate imperfect, imperfection. If you make a more if you make a moral or ethical mistake, you're branded on your skin with an F and forced to live life as a second class citizen, as flawed. This is a society where public shaming is used to try and cleanse the country of imperfections. Celine is a perfect grade A student. She makes a decision one day which leads her to becoming marked as flawed. She must live life under different rules as a second-class citizen for the rest of her life. She must she must struggle to deal with that, but will she accept it? Very cool. It comes with a little poster. The cover is gorgeous. It's this really, really awesome kind of... Oh gosh, I know the name of this paper. It's not on here. But it's kind of like thick, kind of see-through paper. And then you have the cover. How pretty. Wow, this book is pretty. Oh, Celestine. Celestine? Oh my god, I can't read. I can't read. So again, the Alcrate dystopian novel for this month is Flawed by Cecilia Ahern. The back says, I can't be flawed. I can't be flawed. I am perfect. I cannot wait to dig into this. Um, I'm definitely going to do that after I finish reading um, A Room with a View by E.M. Forster, which is my novelty book club book of the month that we are reading. I'm a little behind in reading it because I read um, The Serpent King, which was the March Alcrate book of the month, and I read something else as well. Oh, I read the, the Pursuit of Pearls, which I 
one through a Goodreads giveaway, so I'm slowly making my way through my book stack. This might be next. I'm getting, I'm about halfway through a room, a room with a few. So definitely wait to check out my review of this book on Goodreads. You can find me at goodreads.com slash Ashley Cress. Pretty simple. Like below, subscribe below. I will link um, this book in the um, description below. I will link it to Goodreads. I will also link my Goodreads page below. So make sure to follow me and also follow me on Instagram at Ashcrest. Thank you.